Even the most careful drivers can get into accidents. There are always things working against drivers, including road hazards. But on this list, it is way far different, welcome to 10 roads you would never want to drive on. Number 10 Passage du Bois Passage du Bois is a natural passage with a length of 4.3 km, 2.58 miles, located in the Atlantic coast of France in the Vendée department. This stretch of the D948 road is periodically flooded leading to the island of Noirmoutier in France. It is flooded twice a day by the high tide. Pack an inflatable boat for driving this 4.3 km road because just say for some crazy reason you mix up the tide times, then like vehicles in the past you might disappear beneath the salty brine. Located on France's Atlantic coast, the road floods twice daily with incoming tides and as the tides go out slippery seaweed is left all over it. Number 9 Per de Cakey Patio Pulo Per de Cakey Patio Pulo is a mountain road with a length of 23.5 km, located in the northeastern part of Aetolia Acarnania, Greece. This road is a steep climb or descent, over the length of this road. The elevation changes nearly 500 meters. Full of twists and turns, the road is also incredibly narrow and has a sheer drop on the edges with no rail to protect vehicles from plummeting off the edge. Many people die on this road every year. The road is bustling with everything from pedestrians and livestock to trucks, buses and cars. Without any markings, Judging distance from the edge is extremely difficult and avoiding the drops even in the light of day is hard enough but the problem is even more apparent at night when most accidents occur. Number 8 Luxor Al Hergada Road The road that links the ancient city of Luxor in southern Egypt and Hergada, the regional hub for several scuba diving resorts on the Red Sea, is a death trap. It's extremely dangerous with many head-on collisions and fatal accidents due to drivers not turning on their headlights. The reason for drivers keeping their lights off is because bandits and terrorists patrol the roads and shoot at drivers. On this road between these two touristic centers bandits, terrorist attempts to undermine the tourism industry, and frightened drivers have all combined to turn this asphalted road into a major nightmare. The violent attacks along this road are dangerous enough by themselves. And if the bandits don't get you, the terrorists probably will. On November 17, 1997, six gunmen from the Islamic group Jihad Talat al-Fath, shot and killed 62 German tourists in Luxor in a massacre that resulted in a massive government crackdown that endures today. It's paved, marked, and appears to be relatively safe and the drive time is just 4 hours, 37 minutes. Number 7 Terraco Gorge Road The Terraco Gorge Road in Taiwan is another mountain route made by carving out rocks, like the Kualayong Tunnel Road. Despite its name, the Central Cross Island Highway is a narrow and winding mountain road, and only a bus can barely pass by at a time. But the highway itself is truly an engineering masterpiece, as it cuts through the mountains and joins the east and west coast. It's full of blind curves, sharp turns, and narrow paths leading through cliffs and mountains. The road is dangerous because, buses, pedestrians, scooters, and cars all fight for space on the narrow road, heavy rain in typhoon season dislodges debris onto the road and walls of the nearby gorge prone to failure under seismic activity. Number 6 Skippers Canyon Road The Skippers Canyon Road located in in the southwest of New Zealand's South Island, is today one of New Zealand's better known scenic roads and unbelievably scary as it's totally narrow and different to maneuver your car. This gravel road, with a length of 16,5 miles, carved by hand by miners over 140 years ago is made from a very narrow cut in the middle of a sheer cliff face. It's a road so dangerous that your rental car insurance won't be honored if you drive on it. Should you encounter a car driving the other way, one of you will have to back up gingerly until you can find enough room to pass. Good luck figuring out which of you that will be. Number 5 Halsema Highway Halsema Highway was considered one of the most dangerous highways in the world. Every day, commuters, transporters, tourists, 
and residents coming from Baguio or MT province drove this route, braving steep crags, narrow and sheer drop-offs, some more than 1,000 feet. But the road has now improved, and it's a lovely trip by an asphalted road tracing a circuitous path that crosses the massive Cordillera Central mountain range on the island of Luzon. Like many under-maintained mountain roads, landslides are a hazard on the Halsema Highway, where big stones and debris tumble from peaks. And along with the cloud forests comes mist that can ruin visibility. Bus drivers travel at high speeds on these narrow roads, making it very dangerous for smaller vehicles. Extreme foggy conditions and slippery asphalt during rainy season, complicate the driving, turning the road even more dangerous. Number 4 Tianmen Mountain Located within the Tianmen Mountain National Park, in northwestern Hunan Province, China, the Tianmen Shan Big Gate Road, also called the Tianmen Winding Mountain Road, is 11 kilometers, 6.8 miles, long from the bottom to the top. The highest point of the road is at 1.300 m above sea level, and the lowest point is 200 m. The construction of the road took 8 years, finishing in 2006. To get there, you need to drive up Tongtian Avenue, Avenue Toward Heaven, which has 99 turns, symbolizing that heaven has 9 palaces. That's a lot of curves to tackle, with only a few feet separating you from a deadly plunge down the slope. There are also 999 stairs, called Tianan Stairs, also known as TNT, or the celestial slash heaven reaching ladder, to climb before you reach the peak, where heaven's gate a natural rock arch that was believed to be the link between the gods and the mortal world awaits. And there's no platforms for stopping. The driver should be extra careful during the drive. Taking it slow and paying attention to every curve and turn. Not being overly careful could make it too easy to junk a car, or worse injure and even kill passengers. Number 3 Erhi Highway Air Highway is an asphalted highway in Australia, with a length of 1,675 km. It includes what is said to be the longest straight stretch of road in the country, 146.6 km, 91.1 miles, without any turn. The highway was opened in 1941 and includes one of the 10 longest straight stretch of road in the world. 146.6 kilometers, 91.1 miles, without any turn, between the small roadhouse communities of Baladonia and Kaguna. Number 2 Karakoram Highway The Karakoram Highway, known informally as the KKH, is said to be the highest paved international road in the world, but at its peak at the China-Pakistan border it is only paved on the Chinese side. It's the road to paradise if you like exploring the mountains, that is. It's regarded as one of the world's hardest alpine climbs. The Karakoram Highway connects China and Pakistan across the Karakoram mountain range, through the Kunjurab Pass, at an elevation of 4,693 meters, 15,397 feet, above the sea level. The road is one of the scariest and hair-raising jeep trip in the world. 810 Pakistani and 82 Chinese workers lost their lives, mostly in landslides and falls, while building the highway. The route of the KKH traces one of the many paths of the ancient Silk Road. The road has a length of 1,300 km, 800 miles Pakistan, 887 km, 551 miles, and China, 413 km, 257 miles. It was started in 1959 and was completed in 1986 after 27 years of construction. Number 1 Sojila Pass India The Sojila, also known as Sojila or Sojila, is one of the important mountain passes in India. At an elevation of 11,575 feet 3 meters, above the sea level, the pass lies amid Le in the western Himalayan mountain ranges and Srinagar. This strip of rock is not the place for a Sunday drive. It's 9 km long, about 3,500 m above sea level and provides an important link between Ladakh and Kashmir. To drive this trail, you must have supreme confidence in your vehicle and your driving skills. 
The pass is traversed by the Indian National Highway 1D, the URI Srinagar Leh Highway. The Zozila Pass is considered as one of the riskiest passes in this area. During and after a storm the road may be impassable, even with a four-wheel drive vehicle and can easily get muddy if it rains making it challenging to get through. The zone experiences high winds and heavy snowfall, which render it impassable for much of the winter. Even when the sun is shining, the roads are narrow, the drops are steep and there's no barrier between you and the abyss. If you look at the sharp mountain edges to find a road there you will see only a thin line. That's the road. It's nothing more than a one-lane crumbling dirt trail that hugs some of the tallest mountains in the world, with imminent death waiting for those who show up unprepared. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. And also check us out on Twitter. We will see you soon with new videos. Bye for now.